Hey guys, it's Dinosaur here. Today I have a video for you just doing a second part of my cable management build. So this is the second part, not the first part. First part goes over some unboxing stuff. Second part does a little bit of a review of some stuff and also utilizing all of it. So sneak peek of what's in the video. Um, as you can probably see, this whole space is empty. Uh, before, in my first part, you could probably tell that it was completely a mess. So now it's not a mess anymore. It's actually pretty cleared up. Now if you do look at the underside of my table it's not going to be that clear but um, if you look at it from a regular point of view it looks really clean um, and yes I'm using the cable manager uh, called the Cordes. Um yeah I did do that in the first video the first part of this so you guys can go check that out so uh, right here you guys can uh, see this is the cable coral I have the link for this down in the video description it's basically a um, something that you screw into the bottom of your table or really whatever you want to put it and these little brackets whatever you want to call them uh, they hold your cables in place um, I use this uh, to hold power strips and yes if you're wondering you do have to screw this in uh, you can't really get around that um, there's no other way to mount it they do send you the four screws when you buy it so you're really getting the full package all you need is a drill and all that kind of stuff which I do cover later in the video so this is the Cable Coral Junior, slightly smaller. I bought both uh, just to see which one uh, would be better. I ended up using both uh, because I needed it, um, but they're basically the same thing. One's just shorter, one's just longer. It's nothing different. Uh, one is just half as large as the other one. So they do send you these four screws. Um, so they're fairly long, so you, if you don't have a thick table, you may have an issue with this. Um, they probably need to go all the way in because otherwise it will not be secured. Um, they are going to be secure if you put them all the way in, um, but that's just a side note, so you want to make sure you have everything that is compatible with it. So what you have to do first, I made a little template on the other side of my table, which is what you're looking at now. I uh, drawed holes, and that's what I used uh, as a template to drill. So you want to have a drill bit set, which is nice to have, um, so you could make various uh, holes depending on... Uh, if you want to create a starter hole and then work your way up until you have the right size um, so you don't by accident screw up. So using a drill a bit set is nice to have. Also, I did get electrical tape just in case I needed to do something with it, but I didn't really use it that much. Um, you probably want to have a drill bit, uh, a drill, uh, otherwise you will not be able to use this. Also, probably have, it was probably nice to have an extra battery because mine did run out of me several times. You also might want to have an automatic uh, electric uh, drill, uh, well, screwdriver. Uh, this one does have a light and it does fold, so it was very convenient to have. Uh, there is the light. It was actually pretty useful under the table where I couldn't see that well. And most of this stuff is available if you buy a toolkit. Um, I have a Bosch toolkit. You guys may have a different one. But uh, really, all you need is the basic essential stuff that usually comes in toolkits uh, like this one. And um, so now you see screwing it in uh, under the side of the table. Um, this is the Cable Coral Junior. This is on the right side of my table. Not that hard to screw in. I'm not showing you the actual part that I started screwing it in, but this is just the beginning. Here you see me actually screwing it in. I had to create a template for that, um, which I did with the pencil. And then I screwed that in. And uh, you probably want to close your eyes when you're screwing this in because I did get a lot of that stuff in my eyes. Um, it just fell out of the of that hole. So, um, yeah, and my battery did die right here, so that was kind of weird. Uh, and both of them died, but uh, I ended up getting it done uh, properly. <clears throat> so the process itself is not too hard. As long as you don't screw it up, it's actually pretty easy. I'm now realizing that I probably should have sped this up. Yeah, but, um, yeah, there's not much else that's interesting in this part, except for the fact that here, um, I guess here is the other side of that uh, drill bit, of that uh, side of the cable coral which I have to screw in. Also, if you do notice, the reason why I had to use electrical tape is because of that tip. The tip was breaking and that was really the only one that fit so I had to electrical tape it up but uh, it worked eventually. Um, yeah so that is the last hole. Um, not too hard actually if you can get the right angle if you get it perpendicular to the desk it works fine and here just uh, make sure you have an extra spare battery because running out is uh, the worst thing because it's really annoying and you have to charge it up. So here we're going to be using the electric screwdriver. 
uh, we're going to be screwing in uh, those screws after you made those holes. So uh, the light here came in really useful. Um, so you have to push it up when you're screwing it in. Um, but other than that, it's not actually that hard. So then over here, the other side, it was pretty easy compared to some other things that required screwdrivers and all that. Um, it was only four screws for each of them. So if you're going to get one, it's not that hard. I mean, I did it when I'm a kid, so you don't really need that much experience. And that basically secures it. Uh, once you hear it click, I guess if your screwdriver doesn't go anymore, depending on what you're using, if you're using an electric one, if it clicks, then you know you're good. If it doesn't turn anymore, if you're using a manual one, then you know you're good. So if it's tight, it fits, that means it's right. So um, here are all the cables you need to use. Um, these are, oh, this is the power one. These are all from Monoprice, by the way. Uh, this is the uh, power cable. Um, I ended up not using it, but I bought it anyway because I thought I had to use it. It was longer than my original one that came with my computer. The reason I thought I needed it was because I was going to move my desktop, which I ended up doing, but there was a power outlet right there. Um, that was USB to USB, just an extender. Uh, I have two of them, and those are actually really useful. I use them currently to uh, drag uh, one cable from my computer all the way across my desk. Uh, to hold uh, my USBs for a keyboard. Here is a uh, USB to mini USB. Um, so, and that does have a ferrite core, which is actually really useful so that uh, you don't have a disturbing magnetic field. And then over here, I have a DVI to HDMI. And by the way, all these were gold plated, so it's really nice to know that they're not going to be corroded. And most of them had ferrite cores. Also, um, I did uh, already open this, I remember you using this, but. Um, I used an HDMI cable to HDMI, HDMI to HDMI, gold plated. Um, like they had, that's not actually gold plated. I used the wrong one, but uh, yeah, they just said uh, I got an HDMI to HDMI. All these were 10 feet. Um, so here's a look at the mess I have under my desk. Um, this is basically what I have going on just power bricks and, and, uh, power strips and it's really a mess so as you can see here it's not actually that good and by the end of the video you get you guys are gonna see how how like awesome it looks compared to it so um, now you have what it really looks like and I have to say it looks a lot better it's actually a lot easier to use everything um, comparing it to uh, the way I was originally using it um, yesterday it's actually a lot easier to use um, it did take around three hours to arrange all this. I just had like an insane amount of cables. Now, granted, I did take a couple breaks, but yeah, these cables, this cable management is pretty good, um, I have to say. Um, I will be constantly managing it and uh, checking it. Uh, right here, you see uh, that QWERTY. Um, it's, I have a uh, phone uh, USB cable plugged in. Uh, mouse charger, these two are the USB extenders and I have my mouse and keyboard plugged into them uh, because the distance is a little bit long for the receivers to reach so that's why I use them. Over there I have my 10 port USB hub, that thing is awesome. USB 2.0, I have a USB 3.0 hub, it has four ports on it but currently I don't have any uh, 3.0 devices so I really don't need to use it. Um, so I have uh, my charger for my keyboard and uh, the connectors to um, different various chargers connected over there. So really, it's a really, really uh, neat system. Uh, except for this part, this part I will have to fix up. I'm probably gonna end up changing this slightly. Um, this part is suspended, so you don't really see it if you walk into my room, but it is still noticeable. Uh, a lot of stuff does have to be there because simply it's just, um, because it's just all computer stuff, so I really can't get that out of there. And by the way, that's a sneak peek over there of uh, what I'm going to be doing next week, which is going to be continuing the Mac OS X Lion build. Uh, but over there, you see that one is uh, a lot longer than that one, and the, the power strips do fit a lot better in the cable in the cable coral. The cable coral junior is is a lot better. Is actually not as good, but the cable coral is better than the cable coral junior. So if you have to decide, I recommend you get. Uh, the Cable Coral, the Cable Coral Junior is not that awesome. Um, I'd say the larger it is, uh, the more cable management you can you can use and how you can utilize it. It's just a lot easier. Um, so that's basically it for this video. Um, that's how I'm using my setup. Uh, hopefully you guys like it. 
Um, probably we'll have a room tour soon if you guys are wondering. And uh, leave a comment down below if you want that. So, um, yeah, that's basically what I got going on here. Hopefully it's going to be that neat for a lot longer. So uh, if you want, guys, uh, you can thumbs up this video. Really appreciate that. Uh, and peace.